Hello, it's been having a Magnet Actions. Uh, we are going in with Gold Frap. Now, we're going in with a bit of an era based kind of reaction. This one is Personal Selections from Gold Frap's first three albums. So we've got Felt Mountain, which was released in 2000, a Black Cherry, which is 2003, and Super Nature. Super Nature. Super Nature. <laughs> from 2005. This one is coming from Drock Drac on Patreon. He couldn't choose on an album, so he wanted to, I guess, encapsulate his favorite songs from these three eras. So we're going in chronological order. There's four from the first, four from the second, one. I don't know, actually, if what they are. Oh, we'll just see how we go. I think the one that have the same covers are gonna be the ones from the same era, I'm gonna presume. I'll find out as we go along anyway. No idea if I know any of Goldfrapp's songs, we're gonna, again, see as we go. Other than that, I'm going in blind. If you wanna see the full uncut to this, it will be on Patreon, link is down below. I got my backlights on, I don't know how they're gonna go for the video. I thought I might spice it up. I just washed my hair, so I'm feeling fresh and clean. I got a candle burning, got the lights on, so. Let's see how we go for this video. Kind of encapsulate that gold frappy vibe, I think. I don't know. This is the first time I'm doing like, you know, a few eras mixed into one, so I'm keen to see how it works out, and I guess, yeah, I guess like the flow through as well. We need one of these though. Ah, yummy. There's nothing else to say. We're gonna go in with the first song, which is A Lovely Head. This is my first introduction to her. This is from, yeah, the album Felt Mountain. Let's go. Ooh. Definitely feels introductionary. That's a word. <laughs> Is this like Kill Bill vibes? Not that I've seen the movies, but... <laughs> like also reminds me of Bjork's album cover as well what a like very time period piece it feels like it's from the 60s I just feel like I get that vibe like I said with the old like silver microphones almost James Bondy Kill Billy like very movie kind of vibe like definitely you could see that within a scene of a movie like a jazz bar intriguing love the sound love the production her voice is very sultry like easy again I guess the song is like about being lonely, maybe? I don't know. I don't know if the songs are that deep, so we'll see as we go along. Good first introduction, though. not what I expected at all. It's a lot slower paced. I'm actually keen to see her progression and, you know, how she develops over these three albums. Next song is called Human. Let's go. Yeah, creepy. From your mouth, She's a very subtle singer. I I loved you more than me. Like, this feels like a little sexy song. The strings, like the orchestra in the background, is so nice. Already died, I love that. It's not music I would go out and listen to, like this isn't stuff I'd jive to normally. It doesn't, I guess, connect lyrically with me. I guess uh, what it connects with is those like olden day movies and you know, those time periods. So while it doesn't feel dated, I guess because it is so period piece, it wouldn't feel dated. Still though, I can really appreciate her voice and just 
again, just how you kind of sink and fall into it. I am very keen to like kind of move into the next album to see how she sounds, because obviously I'm going to guess like these ones all kind of feel like this little James Bondy jazz club vibe. But yeah, super intriguing. I'm, yeah, I'm keen to, I'm just like, yeah, I'm keen to hear more. So that's when I know I'm enjoying it. If I want to hear more and just, I guess, see the diversity that I've got to show. Next song is Pilots. Let's go. Kind of beachside kind of vibe. That just sounds like, like the ocean coming in now. Uh, so it's like a plane. So much Oh yeah, of course pilots, the planes. Super slow. We're kind of like, like floating through space kind of vibes, just like, no gravity. <laughs> gave me that freeing feeling like I said no gravity I wasn't like bound to the earth you're just kind of like floating through I guess it could be a bit of a trippy kind of little video clip I reckon just like with random stuff happening all right we're at the last song of Felt Mountain it's called Utopia let's see how she's well I don't know where this I don't actually have no idea where these place in the album or like are they in order or like what where they are but we're gonna wrap up this album with this song let's go Ooh, she can hit some high notes no genre you'd call this music that one was very mystical very encapsulating of utopia and i guess like you just envision this different world so it's very thought-provoking very image conjuring which i love yeah that was really cool that was my favorite one out of the four from that album all right let's move on the next album is black cherry now this is 2003 so three years later i'm very keen to hear where she goes now like is she gonna stay in the same realm or is she gonna totally change up i'm keen first song is train let's go maybe maybe not Oh, oh something like a chainsaw. Okay, this production's cooler. Dude, this is kind of giving me Kylie Minogue vibe. Weird little lyrics in these verses. 
Like it is cool. Like, who is she making this music for? Because it's it's not really for radio. I can't imagine any of these songs being super big on the radio. So be very keen, I guess, like what's her angle or yeah, what inspires her to make the music? Obviously, you can just make music for yourself and things like that, but it is very weird music. In reality, it's weird music. <laughs> the next song is called Hairy Trees, which just further proves the point weird. Let's go. Okay, you've got most like some little mystical garden. I guess yeah, fairy trees. Hairy trees, whatever they are. <laughs> hairy trees with fairy trees. Weird this is on the same album as trains. This like is like a more palatable Bjork for me. Alright, I think I know what the song's about now. Song. Like it's nice, but not really super captivating for me. Yeah, right in, oh, right back, pony, right in slowly. Lol. I guess there's just not a lot of connectability with the lyrics. But like, I guess the production's the main thing here. Too long for me as well. Yeah, I guess it's a love song. Definitely prefer trains over this one on the album. Yeah, the production, like I said, is very cool and like interesting and intriguing to listen to. It's just when you're just sitting here listening, you're like, all right, what, what do you want me to, what do you want me to say? <laughs> Next song's called Twist. Let's go. Oh, all right, yeah, give me this little dirtiness. controversial but I think if that was a Kylie song I'd like it more. <laughs> it sounded very Kylie, very Road Traders vibe. It's not a bad song. I don't know if I'm just kind of over her voice which I know. <laughs> I don't mean to like kind of hate on her, but I'm just a bit like, oh, like, yeah, come on. I'm also struggling to find like how this would really affect you, Drock, Drac. I know, obviously, that's me being super judgmental because obviously music has so many different meanings and so many things with people, but I'm just like, it's all right. Like, it's all right, <laughs> which... Oh well, that's my honest reaction, that's just how I feel at the moment. I don't know if she's going to capture me much more because this album is... I actually... I don't know which I prefer. This one is a bit more like engaging, but the sounds are a bit, I don't know, they just don't really sound her. And again, I don't know if that's just because I know Rogue Trays and Kylie Minogue. I don't know if Kylie had any influence from Goldfrapp or vice versa, but that definitely sounded very Kylie Minogue, but I think I would have liked it more if Kylie had sung it, which is my bias, but whatever. The last song on this album, or the last song within this era is Strict Machine. Let's go. <sighs> oh, I think I know this. It's, it's like, ooh la la la. Sounds like a movie song, like if this has been in a movie. Yes, yeah, like ooh la la la. Or something like that. Please be the song, just so I could really vibe with one song at least. Such a 90s feel. Also sounds super Kylie. Okay, it's not a song, but I swear I know this song. This is probably the best one on the album. I don't know, it's just... I think this, this type of music doesn't sit in my frequencies, in my soul. See what I mean? It's just the same. 
definitely sounded like I knew. Yeah, okay. I'm not a. Yeah, probably my favorite of the album. Although in saying that, I think Train was probably cooler and like more interesting. Those two, I think Train and Strict Machine were the best out of that album. And probably, I think I would choose them over the first four on Felt Mountain. Maybe, I'm not sure. Right, I'm pretty sure we're moving in now to Super Nature. This is 2005 because of the next four songs, I think, are just like different covers, but we shall see. The next song is Ooh La La. So let's see what she got for us. Let's go. This is it. Whoa, how much does that sound like the other song? Yeah, this is, oh, oh I need, ooh, la, 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 la. Okay, this is like her best song. What movie has this been in, though? Is this where I know it from? <laughs> See all the lyrics, though? Like, it's a story. <laughs> Again, that 90s vibe. Glad there's something I can just really vibe with. Yeah, cool song. While it is cool, let's see how kind of, I don't know, they just mellow out. They don't really go much further than when they get there. Alright, I mean, that's the song I was waiting for. I, well, I didn't know I was waiting for it, but it's definitely a song that Strict Machine sounds like. Very interesting why they sound so similar. Let me know if there's a reason for that or if it's just me thinking that, but I definitely think they sound very similar, to be honest. While I love the song, like, it definitely gives me that reminiscence of the 90s, and I don't know what movie I've heard that on, but it just definitely fit that perfect scene within the movie. It's still, again, I guess, like I said, it just doesn't really build. Like, I'm just like, just give me something more or just take me somewhere else because we've kind of got to this level, and then we're like, alright, we're just gonna stay here and repeat the same stuff for the rest of the song. Alright, next song. Ride a white horse. Let's go. Definitely coming after Ooh La La. It's, you know, you've got a lot to live up to when you vibe with the song. Let's go on with Satin Chick. Let's go. You're so satin chic. I don't think I'm gonna like this. experience. I don't get that in the slightest. I don't get it. Let's wrap it up. We're going with number one. Let's go. Let's go on a high, please. That production was just so cheap. Like, this already sounds back to normal. Her first album, or like, that's way better than most of this. Uh, 
far superior than any of these other two. trying to sell or deliver to someone like oh, I guess a listener who hasn't listened to them before like lyrically very basic I think the lyrics got worse as the songs progressed like even production got worse like that first album got mad and the production was solid you could just fall into it it was so like just classical time period bass and just felt so royal second album definitely had a bit more funkier things but you know Train and Strict Machine were cool and I know still gave you a bit more they just I don't know they didn't give me much but they gave me more than the other stuff Ooh La La is definitely their best song and then yeah, Ride a White Horse, Satin Chick number one, absolutely atrocious. Like Satin Chick is disgusting. Like I absolutely hate that song. And number one was just a bit like meh. And I know I'm being so harsh, but uh, I just, just, I don't get it. I wouldn't want to listen to her anymore. And I hate that it's like, so we know we've like curated this playlist for me and maybe that's why because it's just been so all over the place. I haven't, I guess, sat in with one piece of art or like, you know, one era, one album. I don't know, but yeah. I don't know, definitely went like downhill. So I don't know if it's just because the first album was so strong and just the production was there. But I mean, even lyrically, it wasn't super like, I guess, engaging for me. And she's not really a lyricist, I would say. Like that's probably not the calling card to her. I think it's definitely the production. But I guess you're gonna have to let me know what your favorite song is. And I guess what about these songs and why? Or like, what am I missing? Am I missing it? Or is it just because this isn't my vibe? Like, was this expected? Did you expect me not to really super vibe it? I don't know. Let me know down below. I'm sorry I've been so <laughs> brutal, but uh, it just really angered me, some of those songs. It is what it is. It doesn't matter what I think, as always. I hope you still liked the bits that I liked in the albums or like, you know, in the reaction. I feel that like just the ending was very negative, but that's because I just didn't like that last album. If you want to see the full uncut, it's on Patreon. <laughs> You probably got Onu, but it's there if you want to. Link is down below. Jock Jack, thank you for the support. Thank you for the request. Uh, not every request is going to hit. And sometimes, you know, these are the most interesting ones to watch. The ones where I'm struggling to get through them. Let me know your favorite songs down below, obviously. And give me any information that, you know, maybe I'm missing from, yeah, the pieces of work. Come join my Discord, Instagram, all that stuff down below. Other than that, I'm Gurum. Ben's going to go.